So here we, we took three groups of people and we gave them three different doses of beta alanine over eight weeks. You always have to have a placebo group that gets nothing. They're in green right there. They got zero grams a day over eight weeks. We uh, had a low group of only 1.6 grams per day across here to eight weeks. And then we also measured how, what's the washout. Like once you get carnosine up in the muscle, how long does it take to wash out when you go off the supplement? And then some of the creatine data shows that you can take a loading dose for four or five days and then come off and take a lower dose to maintain the amounts. So we thought this, a similar phenomena could happen with beta alanine. So we gave a high low. So for four weeks, we had 3.2 grams a day. And then we dropped them to 1.6 grams a day and then zero for washout. Using mag magnetic resonance spectroscopy, and if you watch House MD, that's a big tube that they always stick people in and they end up freaking out in there. We can measure um, muscle carnosine non-invasively. We don't have to take muscle biopsy samples, and therefore we can measure muscle carnosine at 0, 2, 4, 8, 12, and 16 weeks repeatedly in a group of about 30 subjects. So we can really characterize um, the increase in the washout. This is the main result. First of all, this, we could look at it in different types of muscles. Everyone started at around a unit of six. As expected, the green group is placebo. They get zero grams per day. They show no difference during the eight weeks whatsoever. You, you wouldn't expect that to change. The low group is 1.6 grams per day for the entire eight weeks. They show a nice linear increase and then a washout to here. The high-low group Remember, this group got 3.2 grams a day, followed by 1.6 grams a day. So this group, for the first four weeks, got double the amount of that group. And indeed, when you look at it, they synthesized exactly twice the amount. So it's, it's pretty impressive data in that this high-low group gets twice the amount, and they synthesize twofold. This group gets uh, half the amount, and they synthesize one unit higher. So what we found with our high-low dosing regime over eight weeks was about a 40% increase in muscle carnosine. And as I showed in earlier in the presentation, 40% increases in muscle carnosine are in the area where you can expect uh, anaerobic performance benefits. Uh, this is a different muscle group with the exact same um, results. We then looked at washout. Now, I'll have to step you through this slide. Um, this is post-supplementation. And how quickly, if you, if you got your muscle up to 100%, how quickly it washes out. And I've compared it to creatine. So there's some studies done in 96, 97, 99. The green lines are creatine washout. So if you increase creatine and you have someone come off a creatine supplement, in about four weeks, 50 to 80% of it is washed out. Creatine is not that stable. Um, it, it's going to wash out pretty quickly. The two studies that have measured carnosine washout, it, it appears that carnosine is much more stable. And at least in our study, when subjects went off it, eight weeks later, we still had a 50% increase in muscle carnosine. So my recommendations are, yeah, once it's up there, even when you come off, for at least four weeks, you can still expect performance benefits um, after coming totally off your, the carnosine.